man. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the GigaHub Weekly Show, where we talk about things that matter to us but may not matter to you. I'm host one of three, McMahon, Luis De La Torre. I am host two of three, Daikaiji Tony. And I am last, Adam Grant. Good to know. <laughs> Good to know. Uh, okay, so this episode. This episode, before we go on any further, let's talk about this episode, which is DC television shows, live action mostly. Right, we didn't right. include the animated because that would be a whole other show. Yeah, it would be a four hour <laughs> episode. Um, but first, first, guys, I forgot what it was called. That's all right. On the very first episode of. Cosmic Comics Power Hour. Yes, that thing. Watch this preview right now. Go. Uh, ooh, ooh, I got you, chill. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that was fantastic, <laughs> man. Man, that, that's cinema ooh, right there. Martin, that's yeah, cinema. My like, God. Martin Scorsese my would God. clap his hands at that. Michael Scorsese. <laughs> Martin, Martin Scorsese. Mar- my, Michael my, Scorsese. His, his brother, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Scorsese. Should just lock himself away after that. <laughs> that was disgustingly good. All right. Any director that you think is superior is not, and we've just proven them wrong. Oh man. Uh, before we continue any further, uh, we want to thank our sponsor, Cosmic Comics, the pop culture mecca of the Mojave Desert. Uh, noise. Uh, where we have everything that your nerdy heart would ever desire, including but not limited to pops figures. <laughs> yeah. But also, yeah. like, there's comics and stuff here, I guess, if you really want that stuff. Correct. Um, <laughs> all of this is available. You can talk to our friendly, knowledgeable staff. Yep. And we ship now uh, through CosmicComics.lv. Yep. All right. You don't have to get up or no, go anywhere. No, Cosmic Comics Vegas. Cos- Cosmic Comics dot Vegas. Com dot or com. Cosmic Comics LV. Wait. Yeah. CosmicComics.Vegas or CosmicComicsLV.com. Yes, where you don't right. have to get up out Links of your, off your couch uh, watching your favorite episodes of Wonder Woman uh, to order comics or anything that you may like. Let's get oh, into it. Okay, yeah. let's get into it because there is a lot to get into. DC on TV has been on for so Wow. wow. So many shows. There were shows I didn't even know existed until right, I did some right. research. <laughs> right. um, yeah. Let's start off with the most obvious one, which is the uh, the old Superman, the adventures of Superman. Right. Now, some of you may be thinking Batman was before, but those were actually movie serials. Yes. Oh, there was also, the, I believe, movie serial Batmans, the, too, the, before that. You talk about the 40s one? Yeah. Or, yeah. Batman fights uh, Nazis. Nazis. Yo, yo, okay, I, yeah, G Men, things like that. G Men. Uh, yeah. No, I think the first one. He f- no, no, the second. One, yeah, never mind. Because he fights the Ku Klux Klan in one. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah, but one of them, which I have on DVD, he fights. That episode's literally a, called Batman or er, Batman and Robin versus the Wizard, I believe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. and, and you thought you were gonna get like a magic casting wizard, and it's like, oh no, um, this is a Klansman. Okay, because um, yeah. from what I remember, because I have this on DVD, it's Batman from the forties. Uh, he well, fights a white guy trying to play a Japanese villain who probably. feeds people into alligators, yes. and he turns people into zombies. Yes. Mm. Yes. Okay, well, we're not talking about that, because that's that, movies. Really? That's movies. Okay, yeah. yes. The Adventures of Superman serials, so. ran from 1952 to 1958, and of course starred... Ben Affleck. Yes. Yes. Ben Affleck. <laughs> no, but he did play uh, that guy uh, in a yeah, movie. And yeah. of course starred Brandon Ralph. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, starred George Reeves as Superman. Right. Yep. Uh, who unfortunately uh, committed suicide right. at the Reeves, age of 45. Reeves, I'm sorry, yeah. Reeves. Reeves. Yeah. Excuse me. No, you said it. I had it as Reeves. But some people yeah. get confused as to Christopher Reeves. Mm-hmm. Right. George Reeves. George yeah. Reeves, yeah. yeah um, so this uh, the show ran for about a couple seasons. I would right. say like three seasons. If you're gonna, If you're going to put it in the context of like, Seasons, I right. guess. Like you could put it as like what, like four or five, about four right. or five seasons, something like that, right? It famously had two Loises. Famously had two Loises, right. yeah. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there were a lot of episodes where you can tell that Mr. Reeves had a lot of issues. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. it's pretty easy to see. Unfortunately, yeah. um, he flew. Now back then, the effects that they used were pretty like 
state of the art. Like yeah, I, I, for the time, they right? Use like they they work, used yeah. they used wire work at first, yeah. but uh, he ended up falling off. <laughs> he ended up falling. Uh, one of the cables I think snapped, and yeah. he ended up falling. So they just ended up finding screwed like, up his other, back or something. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, they ended up uh, finding like a, a way to make him look like he was flying. So they set him up on this rigging on this like yeah. weird machine, and they just sort of yeah. covered it up, and it made it look like he was. Did flying. you ever see this show? I. S- no, not a full episode. No. It's it's probably to net today. It's probably more famously known for the idea where crooks shoot him and he just stands there like this, and then they throw the gun at him and he ducks. <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. That's, that's right. That's kind of what it's more known yeah. for now. Yeah, like it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> well, it, uh, here's where here's where I think it makes sense. Right? It's like, all right, now George, they're gonna shoot you. You gotta make it seem like you're getting hit with bullets. Yeah. All right, I can do that. All right. Uh, then they're gonna throw the gun at you. Now we is it a prop gun? <laughs> now we don't have prop guns because <laughs> right, right. it's 1952. <laughs> so they're gonna chuck a real gun at you. <laughs> so you're gonna have to duck. Yeah, George. you're gonna have to duck. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry. We'll we'll fix it in post. Right. It didn't. It didn't. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> He's just in shock. Uh, like, oh, wow. fun fact! That is the same gun that they used for the new bat symbol. Is it in the new Batman? Uh, is it really? No, I'm oh, kidding. Okay. It's garbage. Um, I hate that idea. Anyway, anyway. Yeah, uh, the show unfortunately did not survive uh, Reeves' death at 45. Yeah, and uh, was therefore canceled. All unfortunately. Right. So what came next? So what came next was na, 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 everyone's na, 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 favorite Batman. Na, 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 well, I don't know, Tony. Na, 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 is it your favorite Batman? Batman. 66. Yes. Starring the incomparable Adam West and Burt Ward. First aired on ABC in 1966 to 1960. It didn't last very long. So this aired aired as a TV show first before becoming a movie? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Before the movie came like three or four years later, I think. Yeah. Oh, wow. It was like 71? Yeah. Or 69? Something like that. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Um, This this made Batman like. A household well, name. Yeah, and uh, an anecdote about that is a lot of people don't understand. Like Batman, Detective Comics, um, was on the verge of getting canceled. Either either the Batman comic or Detective Comics, oh my which God. are both Batman comics, Batman titles. Wow, that's they were about better. to fall below the magic number of mm-hmm. getting canceled. Right, and then that show caused its you know caused its sales to surge. I know. Guess what the magic Can... number was in 1966? What was the magic number for, for sales? What? 69 500,000 copies. So if you went below 500,000 copies you were That's canceled. when you're getting canceled. Wow. What do you think a popular comic book today Jeez. sales numbers are? I don't uh, what is it? Maybe 100,000. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Superman's how fa- putting How up. far we've come. <laughs> right, right. Um, um yeah, so you can thank Adam West for making Batman a thing right. now. Love him or hate him. I love, I love him. I love him. I think yeah, he's I great. Now, a lot of people didn't like the show. Yeah. It was very campy, not very indicative of whatever grit, gritty comics were back then. Well, it embraced so, more the Silver Age. Yeah. It was uh, it was fun, and it was campy, and, uh, yeah. and there were some people, I bet if we were this age back then, we would hate it too, probably. Probably, yeah. Like, um, what is this? Yeah, but I saw it as a kid on, like, Nick at Night and stuff, yeah. and, like, they would play it, actually play it on Nickelodeon during the afternoon. So. Whoa, what? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Batman sixty six playing Nickelodeon. It was yeah. played on Nickelodeon. Yeah, that was my first exposure to superheroes at like three years old. Too. Yeah, on, on wait. Re- reruns. I was watching well, reruns. I obviously was not watching Batman reruns in too. I'm not quite that old. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Nickelodeon it's, as in the channel, the channel where, yeah. where, where SpongeBob's at. Yeah, and yeah. it's yeah. the orange foot logo. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, back then they were cool. I don't know what's going on now, I don't know but going back on then now. they were cool, dude. It, it would be in the afternoon, and then for a long time it was on at, like Nick at Night. Yeah. So. And then it got canceled and was followed by a movie. By the way, uh, this isn't a plug specifically because they're not paying us, but if you go to Tubi, they have the whole show yeah. on Tubi for free. So yeah. you could stream all of Batman 66. Yep. I already got all the episodes hint. on Blu-ray. So. <laughs> Helpful hint, because I don't have it on Blu-ray, I unfortunately. I do, too. <laughs> High five, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Adam West is, uh, by the way, fun fact, the only live-action Bruce Wayne until Tim Burton's movie in 1989. That's true. There was no other depiction of live-action live depiction, action depiction of Bruce Wayne uh, or Batman. Yeah. Batman? Probably just Bruce Wayne. I'm not sure about that. And honestly, Batman. even though he was in his late 50s, mm. he's in a movie about the same time as a Tim Burton one got made. He could have still played it, but Whoa. they were cl- they were clearly going. He didn't look that old. Batman. Honestly, he didn't look that old. But of still course, they went in a totally different direction. He looks... Yeah. He looks so seventies all the time, though. Like it's it's so weird. Hey, he was up for I think he was up for James Bond at one point. Believe what? Yeah, 
believe it or not. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. That's cool. Um, now, unfortunately, on this list, we're going to get into some shows we're not going to be able to speak too much about. At least I won't, because right. a lot of these I haven't watched. For example, the, yeah, next, I haven't either. the next one is uh, the Shazam live action. Oh, yeah. Which was the Saturday morning one. I watched. Real. Yeah, I used to watch that. Okay, yeah. It only it. lasted a season. Was that it? God, it, it only like lasted it was on about a years. year. And they started, probably just showed reruns. Yeah, it was on CBS. <laughs> By the way, CBS was a big forerunner and like superhero television right, right. right like a bunch of the marvel shows were on there that we talked about last time yeah. and then a bunch of the dc shows actually are on cbs so so it's, it's, that's the one where billy batson's played by a young man a young man yeah. named michael the gray the kid he was a kid yeah he, he, was, he was a, a kid, kid. Yeah. well you look kind of too old to be billy batson <laughs> uh now I, well i mean i saw it when i was fairly young but i mean he seemed like he was maybe 14 or 15 Mm. Yeah. I, now I don't know if this next one merits a place on the list, but um, drove around in an RV with a guy, old guy. He did drive around yeah. in an RV with an old guy. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Was anyway. I didn't sorry. watch it. Was it? Was that like a relative? I don't remember. Oh god. Oh, did that go god. before or after the Wonder Woman, the it, first Wonder it, Woman TV movie? The uh, one that, that the was one bo- that you goes. You guys don't like Kathy Crowes. I didn't say I didn't like it. I okay. just said Linda Carter was better. Okay. That's what I said. Okay. How dare you take my words out of context? <laughs> Uh, the the next one uh, is the Secret of Isis. Now, was that a DC? Character? No. So, so here's the thing. It was. A, I, I, I was. I was. I was a, I was a little bit confused as to whether I should add this, but I thought it was worth mentioning because yeah. it did. They crossed over. It did. Yeah. Uh, they did end up uh, getting the rest of the character. Now she Wait, is crossed? a DC character, uh, um, but you just I haven't seen her. I think she's in the. Uh, if I remember correctly, I remember reading that she's in the, her character, the Isis character, is in the new. Uh, one of these new shows, probably I think Legends of Tomorrow. Oh, or whatever, yeah. oh, I think she's in holy that. crap! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> damn. I think Tony's head spinning. <laughs> All these shows, like what? This okay, is, this is great. So wait, <laughs> mm-hmm. I okay. So Isis was the Saturday morning TV that before, crossed over with Shazam, and DC snatched the rights up before being in Legends of Tomorrow. Okay, right. right. Mm. Yeah, she was also she crossed over with the Shazam, the Shazam show. Huh. Yeah, and then it's Kathy Lee Crosby. And then it's Kathleen Crosby. Was yeah. that a TV movie? I didn't even add it. It was a the TV list. movie, but it was intended to be a pilot mm. for a Wonder Woman show. Right. Which apparently did not do well because she, and was, listen. she was wearing pants and a. Yeah. Yeah, gross. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> listen, nothing against her. I thought, I thought she was, I thought she was great. She's yeah, obviously she's very beautiful. Gorgeous. But, like, yeah, guys, Linda Carter. Come yes. on. Come on. Yeah. Linda <laughs> Carter was a much more traditional take on the traditional. Thinly veiled bondage <laughs> style of Wonder Woman, which yeah, she had invisible jet. Oh, oh I, yeah. mean, I mean, she yes, yes, of course jet. she was. Yes, and yeah. the most iconic. That was the re- that was the retooling of uh, that. What came out of the Kathleen Crosby yeah. movie, mm. and then, like and then, it's the most iconic uh, th- superhero theme song in the seventies, right? Wonder Woman. And one of our customers <laughs> is actually was a stunt woman for Linda Carter. So what? That's pretty, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, she comes in here all the time. Dang, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, that's cool as hell. Um. And then, uh, yeah, Wonder Woman. Do, do, do. And it's a very catchy. Steve show. Trevor was played by none other than Lyle Wagner. Lyle Wagner who, yeah. played who Trevor. was the runner up to Batman sixty six. Adam oh. West. Yep. Yeah, as bad as Adam West. Do you or, think? Do you or, think or Lyle? Man, rather. Do you think Lyle Wagner could have saved Batman like Adam West did? No, because I think Adam West, like Lyle Wagner, was kind of a more straight take, where Adam West knew enough to kind of like. Amp up, sort of the. Yeah, the, I mean, it was a good performance. Show. I think he yeah, understood it, it, it was like Adam West sort of got that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know if Lyle. Well, now who's to say he wouldn't have if he had actually got the part? But was there at a, least in the test tape, because there is yeah, a test tape, tape of Lyle Wagner. About, yeah, we're mm-hmm. just, oh really? He plays it a lot straighter. Uh, yeah. So, okay. Yeah. I think it's on the Blu-rays. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the cave looks different. Boardboard's still Robin. The suits are different. The suits are different. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I'll have to see that. Yeah. I didn't even watch that. Uh, it premiered on season one. Premiered on ABC, and then it moved over to, of course, CBS. Yeah. This is back when CBS was cool. They were trying to cater to younger people. Right, right. Um, yeah, seasons two or three are on CBS. Of course, Linda Carter, Lyle Wagner, uh, Deborah Winger was in was here. She, in she was Wonder Girl. She was Drusilla, I never knew that. AKA Wonder Girl. Wow, I never. You knew never that. knew that. I, it's been years, decades. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then we just talked about this before we went on. Frank Gorshin was right. in an episode as Toy Man. That's I have right. this whole show on DVD and Blu-ray. I just haven't really opened it yet. It's in my closet. That 
It's probably collecting dust. Being <laughs> well, you were just digging your own hole there, buddy. <laughs> it sickens me to look it at sickens, you. Yeah, it's I mean, the, I, I mean, got mine years ago, and the first thing I did, I got it for Christmas. Like, Someone gave it to me for Christmas, and I was like, yes, please. And I watched yeah. it all of Christmas. Yeah, that's what I did when I got I, like, Batman 66. It, it took like yeah. weeks because there's a lot of episodes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, next up is a show that I had never heard of. Right. Is the uh, Superboy show. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, that was There's a Superboy was show from 1988 70s? to 1992. Oh no, we missed the we missed the Justice the Super Friends oh, yeah, one. Oh, Legion of The Legion of Super. Oh, okay. it's the Justice League without Superman. Oh, Wonder right. Woman. Wasn't and Wonder it, Woman. Yeah, but it does have Batman and Robin. But Batman and Robin played by Adam West and oh, Burt Ward. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. 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 You guys were just talking about that. Yeah. There's Hawkman, Huntress, yep. Shazam's there, I think, if I remember. Yep, right. I think The so. Shazam from the show? I think so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That I don't know. Yeah, I, no. I think it was the same wow. actor. Wow, where do I find this movie? I gotta watch. You can watch it on HBO Max. That's where I saw it. Can you really? Really? Yeah. Holy crap! I gotta check. Oh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Legion of Superheroes, I think. Oh, Something like that. Oh, yeah. if I know what like, I'm doing there, tomorrow. There's like, um, villain wise, there's uh Solomon Grundy. Yeah. Who I don't know. I think it sounds. Who probably wants one pants the, too? It's probably <laughs> one Solomon the Grundy wants best pants li- too. <laughs> best live action portrayal of Solomon Grundy. Nice. Better than what's in Gotham. Nice. Um, was there one in Gotham? I didn't watch Gotham. It, it's yeah. horrible. We're going to talk about it a little bit, but I didn't yeah. watch enough Gotham. To we have so much to talk about. We probably yeah. should okay, move so. on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, There's Super, so the, much. The Superboy show. The which, 80s were dry. Yeah. Which lasted for about, yeah. The That's 80s right. were dry up until the Superboy show, which right. was yep. four years. Yeah. And two uh, Superboys, I think. Two different Two actors. Superboys. Yeah. Yes. So, so uh, John Newton was the first Superboy in the first right. season. Uh, the Salk. This, I'm going to correctly. The Salkin, Salkins, yeah, Salkins, Ilian, the producers. Yeah. yeah, they produced the first three Superman movies. Also right. produced this show. Uh-huh. Uh, they had said that um, <clears throat> that Newton had uh, gotten a DUI. Ooh. And he had a morality clause in his contract. So because he was very Ooh. publicly arrested for DUI, they ended up uh, firing him from the wow. show. Wow. And he was replaced by Gerard Christopher yep. for I, the I, rest of the seasons. Wow. Yeah. I remember that show having, well, I only seen like, what, maybe three episodes and then a whole bunch of clubs. I remember like freaking Mr. Mixaplex is in that show. Is the Sorrows in the show, yeah. Uh, Lex Luthor with hair. Yeah. But they I, shot a lot of the later uh, scenes, or a lot of the later seasons in Florida, so you can tell he's like flying through the Florida Everglades. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, I know it has so the best live action Mr. Mixiplex, better nice. than the one in Supergirl. So nice. Yeah. So what's oh, that? is there one in Supergirl? Yes. So it's after Superboy. So after Superboy, so Superboy in the nineteen eighty two, nineteen ninety through nineteen ninety three, you had. Swamp Thing, yeah, starring, <laughs> and this is the there best. There was a show, Swamp there Thing. Was yes. a, dude, it was on the USA Network. I don't remember that. I don't at remember all. it. Here's the thing: I don't remember it at all. Wow. But I remember watching it as a kid. Really? Yeah, I remember seeing one episode. And then, of this. yeah, and then watching the cartoon. <laughs> I, I remember did, the cartoon too. Well, I didn't even know. I had a bunch of the action figures too, wow. but but I did watch the live action one. Not knowing what was going, on. I don't even remember I, I, it now. Think... But I remember watching it. I remember no, watching the Swamp Thing. It wasn't an HBO Max where did I Dirk Dick Durock play Swamp Thing? No, I was again? just gonna say I, th- this guy has got like the, the best name ever, which is Dick Durock. Dick, Dick Durock, yeah. Dick Durock, um, uh, Carrie Wurr, and so he Mark did, he, Lindsay Chapman. He replies his role. I think it was on Tubi where I saw it like a couple. Anthony. Years back. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, um, I know it's, it's not on HBO Max. None of the Swamp Thing movies are. Unfortunately, well, this is the show. This yeah. is I didn't even know about. Yeah, there is so a like, there is like a, a modern show too. So but next has got to be Lois and Clark. Next yes. is the Flash. Oh, oh that's right. The oh Flash God, series yeah. that was on CBS that's from right. ninety to ninety one right. didn't last very long, but it was good. That show was awesome. I have it was cheesy. It was, it was, it was, it was cheesy. Decent. Good. Um, it's John Wesley. Uh, John Wesley Shipp. Mark Hamill is proto Joker. Yes. Right. So John Wesley Shipp. <laughs> well, actually, he was doing Joker at the same time. Uh, plays the Flash in this, and then I yeah. learned later on that he was in the in the new the Flash. New Flash show. is his dad. Yeah. As yeah. His dad right. and Jay Garrett. Yeah. Jay Garrick. Yeah. And and himself from yeah. from that show because there was the. Crisis, the crisis event where, yeah. Yeah. That, where that version of the Flash is killed off, but whatever. I want to forget f- that. I forgot about the Flash. Yeah. But yeah. like, Ben I question. honestly think that's the best live action Flash ever. Just look at how, how good his costume is. I mean, his costume <laughs> looks like one of those kid Halloween costumes with the, with the muscles built in. You know he was I mean? a big guy. Uh, anyway. I'm, I'm sure yeah. he was. I'm just saying, like the, the defined it muscles does, just yeah. look like like a kid's costume. And I didn't mind him having a cowl because that's 
Well, it's, that's Wally West's thing. Modern yeah. Flash. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but yes, Mark cool. Hamill was in the show as the trickster. As the trickster. Danny Elfman uh, did the theme song. Danny Elfman did the theme <laughs> song. Uh, <laughs> sounding but, a lot like the Mark Hamill sounding a lot like uh, Joker. But yeah. there was no way that Flash would cross over with any DC heroes because apparently it exists in the universe where the Christopher Reeve Superman movie exists as a movie. So huh. there's a part where Barry and his girlfriend's watch walking out of the theater. It's like, wow, who would have thought Clark and Superman or something like that? <laughs> uh, but it's, uh, yeah. Then it's Lois and Clark. Fun fact, Mark Hamill reprised his role as the trickster in the J- uh, Justice League Unlimited show. Yes. Oh, yeah, he, voices, right. he voiced the, uh, the trickster. And he plays okay. trickster again in live action in the newer Flash show. Yeah. Oh, does he? Yeah, yes. that I Man, yeah. I haven't even watched that show at all. Yeah. Uh, next is one I don't know a lot about, which is a show called Human Target. Uh, it didn't last very long. Hey, that, didn't I get a new comic yeah, recently by Tom King? It did. Yeah. It did, yeah. Um, after that is a show that I did watch uh, as a young man, which is Lois and Clark. There's Lois uh, and Clark. The New Adventures of Superman. That show was bad. I hated that Oh, show. that show is bad. Yeah. Guys, listen. Uh, it's not. It's it's super. It's superhero comics for written for a... It's a it's rom com. It's a yeah, rom com superhero That's show. It's say, a rom com yeah. superhero show. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. When I was a kid, it yeah. was it was awesome as hell. It was bosses. It was bosses crap. When I was a kid, because I was getting to see Superman, uh, any any iteration of Superman that I could see on TV was awesome as a kid. Wait, I was you, ten years old when the show came out. Here's what I remember about that Superman. Yeah, didn't we talk about this show before in a Christmas special? So yeah, we, we, did. we did talk we about did, the yeah. Christmas episode. Where yeah. Santa Claus is he a real character? He just did this a lot. Where, where Santa Claus is a real character, yeah. yeah. He did this in a lot. Terms of the, yeah. That's all I remember. In terms of the other <laughs> episodes. A lot of like, posturing. Yeah, posturing, yeah. I know that for some reason Vixen was changed to being a white person in uh, there. You know what? I wouldn't doubt it. I didn't watch very many of I didn't this. doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. All right, after Lois and Clark. After Lois and Clark is, of course, your favorite Superman show, which is Smallville. Yeah! Is that Somebody really? Somebody save yeah, so, so Lo- me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so Lois and Clark was from 93 to 97, of course. Dean Cain, Terry Hatcher, I didn't mention <sighs> that, uh, who are the stars of that show. Right. And then Smallville uh, came out. Actually, yeah, so Superman ended in 97, Lois right. and Clark. This show came out in 2001. Oh, man. And lasted ten years. Yes, this was on TV for ten Smallville, years. Smallville, yeah, Smallville. Oh man, there's so much yeah. I can say about Smallville. Right, please. Okay, because um, I didn't watch it. I thought it was dumb after the hey, first wait. episode. Hey, wait! Before left. that, check this out. Gotham City, the bastion of peace and prosperity. That is, until the costumed vigilantes arrived, coming here to. Make the name for themselves in a what they call an edge lord city. Normally, I would be against such vigilantism, as I am a, a upholder of the law. However, at one point, I was saved by one of these costume weirdos. So now I'm kind of in a weird place about how I feel about them. Um. Um. Who think that man just That's not Creed. Give me that. What shall put you up there? I got you. The people of Gotham City have been put into a lot of danger. But we're trying to solve the issue as best we can, which is really to do nothing at all but watch it on a 24-hour news cycle and just kind of hope for the best, you know? Thoughts and prayers, kind of thing. At least until we can find some way to stop them. Uh, anyway, it's kind of cool though. Sometimes, not all the time, but you know, just like when you're like a couple of city blocks away and there's some sort of supernatural fight. It's it's actually pretty sweet. <laughs> you see, it all started when my dog was ran over by a pickup truck driven by my dad. <laughs> my dad was leaving my mom and I for another woman. And then my mom left me to raise my sister by myself. And then my little sister was run over by a pickup truck driven by my dad when he was trying to come home. But he ended up leaving again. And then in college, I ate an obscenely large hot dog and... What's going on? Call Batman! Hello? 
Who is this? Hello? Is anybody there? Hello? Ah, I'm just kidding. This is the Batman's phone. Yes. Uh, leave uh, your name and number and a short message, and the Batman will get back to you as soon as possible. It's not likely it'll be very soon. He's a busy guy, but, you know, he tries, so... Name mess name message we'll get back to you. Goodbye. <laughs> Uh, 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 that's Superman. Uh, uh, it's just a suit. Oh my God. Oh God. Uh, 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 oh God. No. Oh. Yeah. Some chump probably messing things up at Arkham Asylum. By golly, Batman. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, I'll have to go visit Chase at Arkham Asylum. Oh my! Yeah, I don't know. They said they had some kind of gas leak. I don't know. It sounds like BS to me. Oh. Yep, that's what she said. A gas leak. Uh huh? All right. So anyway, how about these party crashers? Whoa, whoa, whoa! The, the Batman. Yeah, we, we should. We should crash the party. What whoa, are you talking whoa, about, Boy Wonder? What does that have to do with Don't anything? Don't be a chump! Oh my god, Batman! Uh, you were talking about a gas leak and now you're talking about Let's go get parties? these party crashes. Enough talk! But people are dying, Batman! Oh, what? Oh. Go. Oh, god, I got you, chump. Riddler? Uh-oh. Okay. Shit. Go. I got you, chump. Okay. Riddle me this, chump. Who's green wearing a stupid costume and knocked on his butt? You are. Ah, Batman, but I have a riddle for you. What's black and white and red all over? What, chump? It's a penguin in the blender, not a newspaper. Because penguin was supposed to be in the story originally. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> That was so Ooh. cool. Man, Detective Man. Comics. Michael Bay, awesome. just just go somewhere and never be heard from again because you will never <laughs> you will never produce effects like that. <laughs> yeah. Ever, right. ever. Right. That was in the history of ever. Okay, so such an all star cast, so wonderful. Right. What we're talking about, we're talking about a show that though. had like oh, one of the best though. super opening theme oh songs God. ever. <laughs> Somebody save me. <laughs> Okay, we still a whole right. episode where nope. where uh, okay. that's where a show that should not have songs. that should not have lasted ten seasons. Okay, okay. Admittedly, the show was good when it was still about actual Smallville and Superman or Clark Kent was you know growing up to be Superman and interacting with the people of Smallville and be befriending a young Lex Luthor. It, it was good, but I can see why people would have been attracted to that. But then <laughs> it just oh, struck me as like I, CW I, I never or whatever through, the CW yeah. was before it was I, the CW. I can never but, make but, it through a whole episode. But then Superman meets Lois Lane, then all of a sudden she the show the show so takes Yes, but the show <laughs> all of a sudden Oh my god. Like I forgot what season oh, it hey, was. Hey, Lana, Lana Lang. Hold on. Super and Lana Lang. Lang. Oh. Yeah. But yeah. like all of a sudden the show Lana Lang's in uh Reacher. All of, all of a sudden the show takes place in freaking Metropolis yeah, and yeah. all of a sudden Superman Clark Clint, Clark Clint is operating as Superman as the blur and I'm like yeah, what is so what, what is going on? Then like I How to make a Superman And I remember <laughs> vil villains like the blur. Villains like Bizarro are introduced, uh Superboy in a Superman origin story, Doomsday Doomsday, wasn't it? Yeah. And yes, he looked, and he looked pretty bad. Yeah, he looked, he looked bad, like, and his origin story is like he's part human or something. Yeah. I, I totally but there's forgot. there's a lot of like there was a lot of stuff in there's there that I thought cool was stuff cool stuff. Yeah, like he meets like, the JSA and yes, like and he I, meets yeah, a lot of the other right. and, like, and, I, and I like the story of the JSA in this version where they were practically either killed or arrested. So at some point, mm -hmm. wasn't there a actual 
attempt at another Justice League movie. It never, oh, it never yeah. aired. But like David Ogden Stiers was yes, Martian Manhunter. And, or something, yes, and Martian Manhunter is like super late nineties, early two thousands. Wow, it, yeah, yeah, there was a flash. In it, it never got, a, it never televised. But there are photos out there yeah. and short videos of test footage. Yeah, huh. there was a flash in it. There was a Count Rainer Green yeah, Lantern. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah I. I anyway, so after Smallville, I, I'm sorry uh, I keep moving us along, but this show. It's already it's starting crazy. to run long. Okay, and guys, we're going to start getting to into through, a lot yeah. of the CW stuff, yeah. which I have not watched any of. So oh, I think crap. Tony will be the only one to be able to talk about it. Do we jump from Smallville right into wait, wait, the Arrowverse? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, Supergo would be wait, next. Wait, what is Birds of Prey CW? Birds of Prey is oh, next. Birds so of Birds of Prey was right. also oh, God, on that show. same the channel. The yeah. amazingly beautiful Dina Meyer as Oracle. Right. Yes. Oh, man. I think she played a good Oracle. I'd watch it just for her. Really? You didn't like her? Actually, Scott was pretty good. I Just the show didn't really... The classic yeah. Huntress? Screw yeah. the show. Retro, retro Huntress? Yeah. Yeah. With superpowers. Yeah. Yeah, screw that show. <laughs> wow. Uh, so, so moving along, moving along was a show I did watch. Uh, when it was on Fox, called Human, uh, the the second iteration of Human Target. Really? Yeah. Wait, what? There's another. <laughs> that, that, I was surprised it was a first iteration of Human I Target. The only one I know was this one. Jack Earl Haley is in this Whoa. as a side character. Mark Valley plays the the wow. titular character, the Human Target of sorts. Uh, Rorschach was isn't it? Yeah. The she, terror. Yeah, he's she, great as a terror, by the way. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Chi McBride is also in it, he's and good. Yeah, um, he's good. He's always uh, good. What is her name? Edinia Id- something. She's the. Uh, she was in Game of Thrones. She played the the mother of the Sand Snakes. <sighs> oh right, right, right. She was uh, uh, yeah. uh, what's his name's uh, concubine. Yeah. Yeah, well, well, one of many apparently. Jinjarin's uh, concubine. Yeah, Oberon. <laughs> Uh, okay, here we go. We're gonna start getting into, into uh, we start getting into Tony territory here. Uh, so, See Human Target, here. 2010 to 2011, 2012 Supergirl. was the start of Arrow. I thought Supergirl which, was that before nope, Arrow. Nope. Nope. No. Uh, no, he left. <laughs> He's left the Wait, room. Tell, it's your favorite show. What are you doing? I think Arrow started out good, but it started to get real soap opera real fast. He uh, did get very CW yeah, pretty quick. Okay, I Arrow, dropped off. Arrow. I think it started well, but it just. I think it just tried to maintain the mystery far too long. For it some did. Things. It did kick off this entire sort of universe <laughs> that's on the CW now, right, yeah. which has your Supergirls and your Flashes and your Ooh, Legends right. of Tomorrow and whatnot. What do you got to say about Arrow, Tony? You seem oh, you okay. seem angry. It, it's, you seem, okay, you seem angry. Yeah. It started well with you know with Oliver Queen unveiling the mysteries of you know of his family and all that, and him coming back home from being stranded in an island for like a couple years. Yeah. But oh my God, he is not Green Arrow. They try, the showrunners tried so hard at making this. He's not the character like the original character Green Arrow. No, right? the showrunners tried so hard at making Green Arrow into Batman. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like oh, he's I agree. All, he's yeah. all dark and brooding. That, that was my biggest I problem. Built city. That's not who Green Arrow was. And, correct. Oh my! He even fights Rachel Ghoul. Who Green Arrow was kind of he did it kind of for the ego. That was yes. He was Bruce Wayne as if he never lost his parents. Right. And yeah. Decided to fight crime anyway. Yeah. <laughs> He he's, he, yeah, ego. he's Bruce he Wayne the, if he was he aware the, that he had yeah. a hedge fund. He did it for the kicks. Here's, yeah. And here's the yeah, thing. Yeah. Stephen Amell, he could play a happy, lucky character. Yeah. Feel like he, he played a cheerful Casey Jones in that second right. Michael Bay yeah, right. TMNT yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. So in that like, second abomination TMNT movie. Hey, I actually like that one because I'd be Bob and Rocksteady. But uh, aside that, <laughs> uh, why can't he be like that for Green Arrow? Oh, my God. Which I was going to make a into, bad joke. Which jumps into Supergirl, which no, then jumps no, into No, sir, oh, please, please. Well, we can't We can't. We're dwell. getting there, we okay? Can't We're not going to dwell. We're getting there. The yeah. show's getting long. Yeah. Gotham, yeah. which was on Fox, which is uh, about uh, the, the uh, which originally, James okay. Gordon. Yeah, originally it was supposed to be a, a show just about the yeah. CCPD, and then all of a sudden... I would have watched that. All of a sudden, it has to be all about Batman. Yeah. And we're going to put characters like Bane... Uh, yeah. the Court of Owls in there. Yeah. And Azrael, I'm like, what? Yeah, where's the Batman M- in all this? <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Mutant yeah. Leader. Just make a Batman show. Yeah. <laughs> Mutant Leader was Dang. in it? Yes. <laughs> Mutant <laughs> Leader was in it? Oh, my God. Okay. He doesn't show up until Batman's like 60. Uh, f- <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Okay. okay, this show. Okay, go uh, I'm glad it's not connected to anything. Okay. Uh, next up is uh, a show I also did not watch, but from a character that I like, which is uh, Constantine, which uh, Air Oh, that yeah, was actually that's pretty right. good. That was on Fox that for a while. That show was supposed to be very good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was good. It, it didn't sucks. La- got, it, yeah. It, it got, got canceled. canceled. It didn't last. However, the character... Uh, the same actor uh, also makes a in Legends of Tomorrow in, 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 in the yeah. Arrowverse. Arrowverse. It was supposed yeah. to be the first attempt at making a live action Justice League Dark since they were starting to introduce characters like Doctor Fate, yeah. Spectre, mm. and then well, uh, yeah. Well, I'm, I'll get to Spectre. DC's if, Doctor Strange, Doctor Fate. I, yeah. I'll get into Spectre if we're gonna bring up the other show that 
He's in. So I'm sure he will <laughs> be. He's in. Uh, okay, now we get into uh, Constantine. Now we get into the Flash, which yeah. is the modern day uh, Flash Grant, show. I guess with Grant, with Grant Gustin. Yep. Yes. Wow. With Grant Gustin and uh, what eh. is the young lady's name? I can't think of it. I, I couldn't. I think she's great. But I found that mostly unwatchable. Yeah, uh, yeah it was very I thought it started dramatic. Out everybody, I I was with you. I was I watched the first okay, yeah. couple episodes then, and I thought yeah. it was cool. And I, then, I liked it when well, Reverse Flash was his everybody's enemy. faster than him. Yes, <laughs> but and all of a sudden it got to the point. Alive, yeah, it got to the no, point where. <laughs> Oh, the all pretty of, fastest. Guy. All of Barry Allen's main villains are speedsters, yeah. just like him. I'm like top, top fifteen, maybe top twenty. <laughs> is there a Gorilla Grodd in that show? Yeah, but yeah. the CGI is crap. So. Oh boy, okay. Same with King Shark. Uh, now we can get into Supergirl, uh, which uh, aired from 2015 to 2021. Did it Actually, the show that just late? ended. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a it whole. It's a whole year right after the Flash show. Oh wow, two yes. seasons. On so CBS one season was on CBS, CBS, and then the okay. rest of them was on CW, okay. which is when they put her in the actual Arrowverse. Now, she wasn't originally supposed to be in the Arrowverse, but even in that first season, they had they had Grant Gustin as the Flash on. Right. Yes. So it's like, okay, so she's not the part Brainiac of the Arrowverse. played by Supergirl from Smallville. Yeah. <laughs> um, <sighs> so they... Uh, uh, they ended up putting her in the arrow. Yes, the show. Now she's they have a lot of crossovers and stuff. Yeah. It's, it sucks. Does it? I didn't even watch it. I'll be the honest. only good part about it is Martian Manhunter. Aside that, Red Tornado kill him off in like his first well, appearance, wow. and he's a villain. Ugh. Wow. Yeah. Uh, let's move on to a show. I I people have given me crap for not watching, which is I Zombie. <laughs> I have That was it. good. Um, was that a DC book? That was a DC book. So yeah, yeah have, it was. You, have you passed the whole DC Arrowverse CW part of it already? Uh, I think I still got one. No, oh, no, I have a couple tomorrow, more. I got right? a couple more. Yeah. Okay. Well, I Zombie was good. Um, it doesn't feel like a superhero show at all. It's no, but it is a it is a DC. If we're counting DC shows, it was a it's DC. It's just book, a more yeah. quirky. Um, what's a Kristen Bell show that she, Veronica Mars. Oh, okay. It was a more yeah. quirky Veronica Mars, to right? Be but yeah. it had its charm. It wasn't. It was good. Yeah, it's definitely like got that Mike Allred flavor on the show, yeah. where it's not well, so it was, much a superhero show, yeah, so it much as it's like show. beautiful people with their beautiful people problems. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of that. I didn't even know uh, Zombie was DC. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about uh, that. Of course, uh, there, there. This one I also haven't watched, which is a uh, what is the uh, the really dark DC imprint? Uh, the um, uh, the one oh, with like the Sam and Vertigo, yes. Yeah, so yeah. There's another Vertigo book, uh, Lucifer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, is, that did Which start. is based that, on the Sandman. It's roughly universe. based on it, but it's an enjoyable show. Yeah, I haven't watched it. My roommate was actually watching it as I was leaving. He's yeah. actually very much into the show. Yeah. Uh, then uh, Preacher, which I also did not I watch. I, haven't, I actually haven't even read the, Preacher read the book. Preacher didn't do well, I don't think. It was on AMC for right. a couple years, for about three years. It had huh. about three seasons. They were hoping for another Walking Dead, I think, and it just yeah. didn't, didn't pan out. I think it, Damn. you know, it, it was, they were trying to go for something really, really edgy, and it just didn't catch on yeah. with people. Uh, now, oh, it's Tony's favorite show, which is Legends of Tomorrow, which okay. uh, started oh. in 2016. Bad and it's still going on. Bad guys from The Flash are now yep. good guys. And some side characters from from Arrow. It's Brandon, and, Brandon Routh showing back up. As Adam. As Adam. As Adam. Yeah. It's, I did like, me. From what, me. From what I saw, it's okay. It's Legends of Tomorrow versus Vandal Savage, time travel, whatever. It's not until... It, all of the shows amalgam together into a crisis where I could just I could just say a whole review. Of it, I heard a I'll lot say, of bad things. I'll, about I'll, crisis, I'll, I'll yeah. save crisis for later. But I heard I'll, it was very disappointing. But I, but I would just say this: Green Arrow Spectre. <laughs> okay, we I, don't know what, I don't know what that means, but Constantine promised us a good live action Spectre, and then Green Arrow had to be killed off because Stephen Amell didn't want to be Green Arrow anymore, and he became Spectre. It's just sure. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> um. Yeah, so Legends of Tomorrow. It's bad. Oh, it's, okay. uh, what's it's, his it's name? Okay. Rory okay. as Rip Hunter was pretty cool. I did uh, enjoy yeah. that. Um, Legends of Tomorrow is okay from the episodes I saw. It's just like when everything start, started going to crisis territory, I'm like, no, no. Uh, let's start getting into the good stuff now. Powerless, uh, 2017 to 2017. Only, show? No, it is a show that had nine episodes, only lasted seven on TV because it was really bad. I watched... Most of them. I watched most of that, the episodes. I, I thought watched, that show was like PlayStation. I don't even know what it's talking about it's now. a sitcom. Yeah. Oh no! It no, is no, a no. sitcom with Vanessa Hudgens and Alan Tiddick. I remember this. Who yeah. plays Bruce Wayne's cousin? cousin. Yeah. And the the humor. it's basically Damage Inc. Yeah. The, and the, the humor is like I have no idea. They <laughs> remember all those comics where like they had like the the people who came in and cleaned up 
like yeah. whatever superhero battle yeah. was left they did all the paperwork and, like, and all the insurance yeah. stuff that's basically what this was yeah. but it was done in a way it was like a sitcom though it was like yeah very humorous kind of dumb it, it wasn't really, good it, no yeah, it was the not humor good, was no. like meh, like oh you see a it's, superhero fights in the background yeah. taste my balls a fire yeah and um, it's a crappy nbc yes comedy i only saw like three episodes of that yeah, they didn't even bother <laughs> i totally the last forget about episodes. forgot about that that's a, uh there is a krypton Correct. show which Correct. i know nothing about uh krypton all i know is that um it has a pretty good live action brainiac in it a pretty good live action doomsday um there's like an affair between house zod and house l like some romance going on oh boy. it has a it has a pretty decent live action lobo from what i saw and yeah all right. Uh, Black Lightning, which is another show on the CW. Uh, CW show, okay. yeah. I, I didn't I, I watch I saw, it like, one episode of that. <laughs> Dude, I'll tell you right now, anything on the CW I did not did watch. Did not watch, yeah. Very likely. The costume's cool. Uh, the Titans, the Teen Titans show, did which... I could like write like a whole ranting those review of that. Those photos yeah, look We need to skip that. Those characters those, look bad. Everything looks look bad. I, I like the like costume and set design. It's just, like... It's, the writing is so edgy. Oh my god! Listen, <laughs> real quick. If you guys want to let us know in the comments what shows we should watch that we said that we didn't watch, right. please let us know because yeah. oh it could very well be that Titans is a good show. It just looked really bad to me. Just oh, kind of oh. cheap. It I, looks I, bad. I saw all three seasons. It looks bad to me. <laughs> good <laughs> or bad? Just I'm say. So sorry bad, for you. Bad. Okay. Uh, there is a, another iteration of Swamp Thing, which didn't last very right, long. Right, but well. I heard it was very so I heard good. It, I also heard it was very it good. Was, it's yeah. awesome, and I, it sucks that there won't be a season two, because this this show was supposed to be the second attempt at making a Justice League dark live action, but no man, season two. Live action. This and I dark, heard it was very good. It's yeah. so it's, good. It's Justice is it League dark just anywhere? cannot is get it, it's off It's on HBO ground. Max. It's on HBO oh, Max. Oh, shoot. I'm going to yeah. have to check it out, then. With Doom Patrol. I didn't even oh, and Doom Patrol. And Doom Patrol here. Nothing but good things Best live action DC show ever. Hands down. Between... Well, I wouldn't say between, but there's, there's also the Watchmen Side show praise. on HBO, which no. I refuse to watch. Yeah, I don't it's, care. It's, it's booty sauce. Is it? Which I, a lot of people the liked li- it, the but live, I refuse the, to the watch. HBO Max well, Watchmen. Here's my feeling about Watchmen. Watchmen is a self-contained graphic novel. Well, it was a comic series, but graphic novel. And it's amazing for what it says. It doesn't yes. need anything else. I don't else. care about anything Here's else. The thing. It doesn't matter to me. It, it acts as a direct sequel to the comic, and David Lindelof tries answering all the ambiguous okay. questions that well, Alan Moore Well, there's my asks. first problem, Damon Lindelof. <laughs> yes. I usually, actually, I hate everything he's done. Yes. Oh, um, my God. <laughs> and number two, did Alan Moore write it? Was no. he involved in any way? Then I okay. really yeah, don't I care. Don't care. He, you my, know he wouldn't be. My, he wouldn't be. The only, yeah, the only be. thing I could praise about that HBO Watchmen show is that it does definitely feel like it takes place in the same universe as in the comics, and you get to see all the after effects of the giant squid and how it affected society as a oh, whole. Oh, they went giant. Oh, they were comics. You said but, comics. But right. then when they start introducing Dr. Manhattan and, he, the, and they explain that he could be killed off, I'm like, no. Okay, so what's next? Uh, <laughs> next is Doom Patrol, which I do highly recommend right, Doom right. Patrol. I, I did watch start that. watching Doom Patrol. Brendan Fraser's back, baby. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He is so good as Robot Man. Yes. It's insane. Everyone on this Dalton. show is so good. Timothy Dalton as Chief Niles. Ch- yeah, Timothy Dalton's great. Oh, I love Timothy Dalton, yeah. Uh, uh, what is her? What Still is... the best James Bond, just was not in very good James Bond movies. <laughs> hey, those are awesome movies. <laughs> get to see someone's head. Living Daylight's off. okay. Right, uh, it's, okay. A great, it's, it's a great show. I highly yes. recommend Diane, that you, that uh, you watch Diane, it. Uh, she was in Encanto. I forgot her name. She, as Crazy Jane. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she was in Orange is the New Black, too. Yes. Oh, was she? Yeah. Wow. Cool. She was a chola. <laughs> that she was. I mean, I'm, I'm sure. No I'm way sure. around it. Yeah. I'm sure. That was the part she played. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a great show. It's really weird. It's really it's really yes. cool. It's a very cool show. It's yeah, a, I need like, to check it out. It's the kind of show you couldn't put on network television, really. Oh, no. It's too weird for like, network television. It has, television. like, the weirdest of Aqua Teen Hunger Force. And <laughs> yeah, it's a yeah. strange yeah. show, for sure. Uh, okay, so... We're gonna start getting else, to some. We are running super long. Right. Uh, <laughs> there is a, a show based on uh, Alfred, just called Pennyworth. Uh, yeah, my dad's been watching that. Um, basically, it <laughs> takes place after World War II, and Pennyworth is like a uh, ex ex military guy, and um, he is he, he is an ex Royal Air Force. Yeah. And he goes up against a secret society that's trying to like bring back Britain to its roots. <laughs> Give everybody a um, show. <laughs> we just get a Lucius Fox show called Fox. Oh, and Lucius Fox is in the show too. On Fox. No, it's it's Fox. It's Lucius Fox in On his, CBS in his, in his college days. But is it about him becoming the Lucius Fox we know and love? Nay, no. it is him going through college drama <laughs> and facing off evil On CBS hidden yeah. secret societies CBS. within his college. Yeah, and then halfway through like the third season. 
he starts working for Wayne Tech. And then the seasons after that, we just make it about Batman. Yes. Yep. <laughs> His son is Batman. Yeah, his son well, that's, is. That's the current. That's the current <laughs> comics. Yeah. Oh, yeah. His son is, is, is a Batman. Batman, right? Batman of yeah. New York. Right. Yeah. Uh, I am Batman. There yeah. is a Batwoman show. No, no, that's. I right. also have not watched. No, I'm not. I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> they, they they ruined Hush and oh god. Good. There is a Star Girl show, which I also that's, have not watched. That's I guess a, season it's an okay one show. was good. Season two. I know what's his name. One of the Luke. Uh, not Luke Wilson, the other Wilson. Yeah, yeah. Owen Wilson. Yeah. Owen Wilson. No, not Owen Wilson. No. Sorry, Luke Wilson. Luke Wilson. Yeah, Luke yeah. Wilson oh, plays yeah, uh, Luke. Stripes. Stripes. He's yeah. yeah. Star-, Star Wars season one was pretty good. Um, season two had so much problems with it, like especially when it came to integrating the JSA in there and the amount of screen time they had, and so many other problems. Okay. They tried to do too much. Very yes. typical of DC and movies and. A lot of shows. these like later on shows are all on on Max, right? They don't yeah, HBO, HBO Max. Max. You yeah. watch both yeah. seasons of Star Girl there. Uh, there is another Superman and Lois. I Lane, did just not realize Superman there was Lois. this been, much being crammed into the modern day. I've been, I've yeah. actually been watching that show. I admit, admittedly, I do have its pro- It does have its problems, and I the clips I see look decent actually. And I, do like, there are parts of it. It's not a rom com, yeah. Oh. There are parts of it that I despise, like how Superman has two sons and they're both douchebags, and <laughs> <laughs> because it's it's better to make a TV show about teenagers than you know have giving Superman. Oh, teenagers a, are way more interesting than old people. Yeah. Teenagers do, do, do dumb things. Teenagers yeah. do dumb things, You gotta things, make them dude. about teenagers, but... They do. But admittedly, it does have a pretty kick-ass... Just look at Tony's daily life. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm a teenager. I'm just kidding. It has the best live-action steal, even though I do love the Shionio one. <laughs> it, it, I don't know. He's... See, young people. I, the clip young I people. saw Steel was like, oh, he's he's more yeah. like hardware than Steel. No. It has the best live-action steel. Which hardware was just um, essentially African-American Iron Man. Right. Yeah. It was. I loved hardware. I thought that was a great comedy. Yeah, now I'm comedy. forgetting... It has the best live action Bizarro, as far as I can tell. Yeah, he's kind of cool, even though they did a weird Doomsday thing with him. It has mm. the best live action Superman costumes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, anyway, we gotta go. <laughs> uh, last two. Uh, there's another show that I have yeah. never even heard of called Naomi. Uh, oh, which yeah, I haven't seen. Is any of that yet. a character that's written that was written by uh, Brian, Brian Michael, Michael Bendis, Bendis. <laughs> your favorite writer. No. Actually, it's love and hate. I, some of his stuff I think is good, and then some of it's like. Yeah, I don't really is, know what. This what sh- was he thinking? Show yes. is about is about a girl who like reads comics, and she's like a fan girl, and she she just runs around with this tattoo artist who turns out to be a Thanagarian. <laughs> like it's just this whole thing. I'm just reading it. I'm like, what is this show? Yeah. All I know is Does that she have she, powers. I don't know is that she becomes a Justice League member eventually. Okay, so oh, what's boy. next? And then <laughs> last but not least is a show that we have reviewed on here and we gave great marks oh. to, which is Peacemaker. Peacemaker, right? Yeah, yeah. the we don't need Peacemaker, to talk about Peacemaker TV Peacemaker. show. Yeah. We don't need to talk about Peacemaker. Peacemaker is a great show. Yeah. You can look at our. Uh, we, you know what? Let's put, right. let's put a link. Let's put a DC. link in the description for our review. <laughs> Of uh, Peacemaker, so that people can get it on there. Yeah. Right. Okay, so now I get that there wasn't a a lot of information, but <laughs> it's a lot, yeah, yeah. There's already so much stuff, and I haven't watched a lot of this, and I I don't a lot of this I do not plan we to are watch. Over forty minutes, and we are right. over forty minutes <laughs> yeah. talking about just some of the little things, these little right, shows right. that exist. But now so. I have some one shots to talk about. Oh my god! There uh, you go. There yeah, you we go. could just start making one shots out of all of these. Right. Um, now uh, I. Did a lot of research for this, so I think I got yeah, most of the job. I, think, really I got job, yeah. most of the live action shows. If there's any that I missed, uh, please uh, go ahead and let us know. If there's <laughs> any that we hated that you love, let us know. Let if there's anything know, that yeah. we love that you how, hated, tell us how off base and screwed up we are. Yeah, tell us. I'm more than willing to have you tell me how bad I am at right. stuff. Um, oh, so it is in that <laughs> sense that uh, I will tell you to hit the like and subscribe, or the like or dislike button, right. whichever you choose. Doesn't matter to me. Just feeds the algorithm, and. And uh, you can subscribe to our uh, channel so that you can get videos as they right. be- as they come up. And is there anything else? Um, watch Doom Patrol. Don't very watch soon. I, I'm not going to say exactly <laughs> when because it's just, you know, it has to do with time and, and everything. But very soon you will start to see full episodes of the Cosmic Comics Power Hour only on Patreon. What? Wow. On pa- we as just well as taste? other as uh, well as other things on Patreon once we, you know, actually find the time to do Guys. Them. <laughs> guys. Right. Remember what they say, the first bumps always free. Right, right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. if you want more power hour, we're going to start putting them on right. uh, And it won't be an hour, don't worry. Yeah, <laughs> we just a name. <laughs> yeah, it's just a name. Uh, right. anyway, guys, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, and <laughs> He seems traumatized. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, hopefully you can come back, and we'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Good night. 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 <laughs>